Hey all, welcome back to Fire and Water Cooking. I'm Darren, of course, and today I'm gonna to do a quick review of the Anamina bowl here. Uh, I've had this for a little while and I've been promising to do a video on it, but uh, life gets in the way. But this is a really great uh, invention. It actually won a Shark Tank in Romania. So we're gonna go ahead, show you what this Anamina bowl is about and why you need one. I'll be right back. Smoking, grilling, Getting hot and hotter, sous vide and chilling from fire and water. All right, guys, I know you're going to say a bowl. What's a bowl? You know, how, how innovative can a bowl be? Well, let me tell you something. When I first saw this, actually, uh, the owner contacted me. And said hey could you take a look at my invention here it won uh, shark tank romania and it's a really good product i'd like to uh, see if he could do a review of it i said okay and i took a look at it and watched the uh, shark tank episode and i really was impressed with uh, the ingenuity and i think he was like maybe a teenager when he when he started developing this uh, he saw a need his mom you know did a lot of baking and cooking and always had problems with her bowls splashing and, and uh, getting stuff all over the kitchen so he you know sat down and designed this bowl so uh, Anamina mixing bowl so uh, really cool concept here and I'm going to show you uh, the parts of it and why it's something that you might want to take a look at um, first of all it comes in uh, four pieces here and actually this top piece goes on and it serves a couple different purposes because you got another piece right on top. So you can actually close this bowl up. You can fill it with um, salads or uh, anything that you want to do some pre-prepping on and put in your refrigerator. And like, you know, a big fruit salad, regular salad, all that. And this lid will keep it in there, try to keep all the other uh, flavors and smells out of it that's in your refrigerator but it's also this thing comes right off it, it has a little uh, notches in here that kind of lock it into place so you can just open it up and now you have access to the bottom part and one of the things I'm going to actually show you what I can do with this is we're actually going to mix up some whipped cream in here and show you just why this part and uh, the other part here which is very similar it's just a flat top same thing locks into place and you can actually lock your uh, lid on top of this as well so you can have this bowl this way so very multi-purpose here but and again you have access to the bottom but you have a shield here so you can actually do some mixing up in this bowl without it splashing all over the place so i'm going to show you how i'm going to do some whipped cream because we're going to do some banana pudding here uh, for dinner tomorrow and my wife likes to make it with the real whipped cream. So we're going to show you how we can take this Anamita bowl, lock this top into place, and make up some whipped cream. It is heavy-duty plastic. Even though it is plastic, it's got a little rubber ring on the bottom, so it shouldn't move around on you when you're trying to mix stuff up. But it's really well thought out, uh, well designed. So I'll be right back, guys, and I'll show you how we can make some real whipped cream with this. All right, guys, so I'm going to get you a little closer up here so we can see just how this Anamina bowl, like I said, these parts are pretty cool. They fit together so you can have a nice closed-in bowl. And then uh, we have this top here. You can also, like I said, this will come over here if you want to put a big salad in there, something that's uh, a little bit bigger fits right in oh, you can lock this down just like that but the way I'm going to use it right now is just to show you how we're going to make some whipped cream so we're going to go ahead and take this I'm going to take my top off to go ahead and get the uh, cream in there but I'm going to shake up my heavy whipping cream and I just I don't know how much my wife needs so I'm probably going to do just half of this quart, just so I don't do too much. I can always make more, right? And I don't want to have to throw a bunch of it out. 
So I'm going to do about half of this quart. That should be fine. Says I'm going to go ahead and use this flat top. Same thing though, it has that shield. So now I can use my slower, or lower beaters here. We're going to go ahead and get this going. I'm going to start out slow to get this whipping up. And once it starts frothing up, I'll start going a little faster. But as you can see, guys, it's starting to splatter, but I'm not worried about it getting all over the place because that shield's in place. Start going a little faster. There's plenty of room for me to move these uh, beaters around, too. have it guys mm -mm -mm. just like it's supposed to that shield protected so it didn't splash all over the place and I didn't need a mixing uh, big mixer to do it just this nice bowl and a hand mixer you can also use your hand blender if you want to do mix some sauces and and stuff like that um, make mayonnaise, whatever you want to do, any kind of aioli, you can make it in this bowl. And there you have it. It works really well. Now, if I want to store it, I can actually keep this in the same container and put this top on, lock it into place. Now I can just toss this in the refrigerator until my wife needs it for later. So there you have it, guys. Really, really simple. Check out the Anamina mixing bowl. I think you're going to love it.